Hey guys, alright? Welcome everyone. We start by seeing a river flowing through a dense forest with a boat slowly moving on its waters. Several men are on the boat, one of whom is lying among them. One explains the notorious reputation of the area known for its abundance of deadly snakes, including the feared red anaconda, a demon believed to have been summoned by a group of cannibals. This enormous and aggressive anaconda is notorious for hunting humans. Questioning their fate, one man directs his question to Jeff, who is sitting with his back to the group near a bottle containing a snake submerged in liquid. As Jeff takes a sip from the bottle unnoticed by the others, a snake quickly approaches the boat, being swiftly captured and contained by one of the men. Expressing the arduous nature of their journey, a reclining man expresses discontent about the agreed profit distribution, insisting on a larger percentage upon completion. It becomes evident that they are embarking on a mission orchestrated by Jeff, who hired them for this venture. Venturing deeper into the jungle, they eventually stop along the riverbank. The man providing information about the snake infestation in the region acts as their guide, revealing his reluctance to accompany them further due to inadequate compensation. Giving into his demands, Jeff offers more money, throwing it on the boat floor, which the guide eagerly retrieves as Jeff inquires if this additional payment is sufficient. The guide confirms, only to be quickly betrayed by Jeff, who stabs a dagger into his neck. The guide begins to bleed, and Jeff quickly kills him by decapitating him and throwing his body into the river. Turning to the remaining two, Jeff expresses his disdain for being deceived, terrifying them. One of them states that the agreed price will remain unchanged, leading Jeff to slap him across the face with the bloodied hand. Meanwhile, a red anaconda emerges in the water, consuming the remains of the dead guide. Venturing deeper into the forest, Jeff's true objective becomes apparent, he is searching for the red anaconda. Finding a snake sculpture and behind it several snake skins confirms the validity of the legend. Simultaneously, the other two stumble upon a well full of snakes, filling their bags with them. As one of them returns to the boat with the bags, he spots a red anaconda nearby and attempts to flee but is quickly captured and killed. The other man, wandering with a bag, falls victim to the same anaconda. Jeff arrives and witnesses the man's death but refrains from intervening, intending to tranquilize the red anaconda after she finishes her meal. However, his plan goes awry when the anaconda is distracted by monkeys and leaves, leaving the man's lifeless body behind. Elsewhere, a circus performance takes place, and the owner Jang announces a variety of performances, including that of a small bear, Dodo who is a strong man, a juggler named Ali, and Gong Lan, who performs an act called Escaping the Water Cage. Handcuffed and submerged in a container filled with water, she begins her attempt to free herself. Unexpectedly, a python falls into the container with her, but she remains submerged even when the allocated time runs out. The lights go off and then back on, revealing that all this was part of the illusion, she emerges unharmed holding the python, but the audience is angered by the deception. It's discovered that the bear act is performed by a child named Away, dressed in a costume. Outraged spectators criticize Lance's costume as too extravagant for the occasion, leading her to remove her shirt. When a man tries to touch her, he is bitten by the python. Later, in the dressing room, the owner scolds the group for their performance. Bang, a former member who left two years ago, arrives and offers to buy the show from Mr. Jang. Ali flirts with Bang, who suggests they perform together, promising to elevate them to international stardom. He announces their upcoming trip to Thailand, and the group eagerly agrees. Bang inquires about Lan's participation, but she leaves with her python Jimmy. The group is on the boat, preparing to depart, Dodu and Away feel disheartened by Lan's departure. However, when the Chinese guide asks about the departure, Mr. Jang responds that they are waiting for someone. Lan also arrives at the boat, persuaded by Bang to do one last show with him in exchange for nullifying the other's contracts. Later, Bang retreats to the bathroom to discuss a delivery, hinting at a dubious deal involving the others, but accidentally drops his phone into the river. While observing Lan changing through a crack in the wall, a snake approaches his leg and bites him in a sensitive area. Fortunately for the unfortunate, the snake is not venomous, and with the help of the captain, they kill it. The group is also introduced to Bang's cousin, who impersonates a zombie. The next day, they encounter an obstruction in the river and attempt to clear it with explosives, but the explosion unleashes a flood of snakes onto their boat, causing panic. Lan uses a pipe to disperse the snakes with pressurized water amidst the chaos. 
Bang falls into the water and swims towards the riverbank pursued by a snake. On the riverbank, Bang narrowly avoids being bitten by a snake. Thankfully Jeff arrives in time to kill the animal by smashing its head. Together, Bang and Jeff return to the ship. Jeff explains that he had an accident a few days earlier, leaving him stranded. Meanwhile, a small snake has crawled into Dodu's ear, causing him immense pain. Jeff comes to Dodu's aid, using his own finger as bait to extract the snake from his ear. Asked how Jeff acquired this knowledge, Jeff reveals his experience as a jungle explorer, having acquired various survival skills over time. Later that night, Lon confides in Bang expressing doubts about Jeff's claims of being a wilderness explorer. She reveals that the snake removed from Dodu's ear was poisonous, but Jeff remained unscathed, suggesting he may possess immunity developed from numerous snake bites. Lon instructs Bang to quickly remove Jeff from the boat. The captain is fishing when Jeff approaches him, offering him money to take him to the location of the red anaconda, but the captain refuses. Meanwhile, Bang tries to persuade Lon to sleep with him, but she rejects him, calling him disgusting before leaving. When the captain's fishing rod slips into the water, he bends down to retrieve it and is suddenly dragged below the surface by an unseen force. The next morning, Lon searches for the captain and discovers Jeff cutting fish and throwing them into the water. Underwater, she finds the lifeless body of the captain and caught on hooks. Jeff admits to killing the captain, dismissing him as the unpredictability of the rainforest where passengers often disappear. As Bang and the others arrive, they hear a commotion and observe a flock of birds flying. Jeff warns them of an imminent threat, and soon the red anaconda emerges, getting caught on a hook. Jeff attempts to capture it, but the hook breaks, causing him to fall into the water. He climbs onto a small lifeboat and struggles with the red anaconda, managing to injure it. The red anaconda overturns Jeff's boat, forcing him back to the main ship with horrifying intentions. The snake reaches the boat and spits the lifeless body of the captain onto the deck, initiating an attack on the group. Zhang and Bang's cousin are relentlessly pursued, while Jeff bravely confronts the anaconda, diverting its attention from the others. Lun, seeking refuge in the cabin, grabs the captain's crossbow. Meanwhile, Dodu and Away hide in the bathroom, only to find themselves cornered by the relentless predator. Away's attempt to seek refuge in the cabin leads to a confrontation with the anaconda, while Dodu manages to temporarily contain it by trapping its head in a clay pot. Disoriented, the anaconda struggles to free itself from the improvised trap. In the midst of chaos, a fire breaks out on the boat, eventually reaching the explosives, resulting in a catastrophic explosion. The group plunges into the water to escape the devouring fire consuming the boat. Fortunately, the group manages to reach the riverbank. Away mourns the loss of the boat, realizing they won't reach it in time. Lon directs her anger towards Jeff, accusing him of recklessly using their boat as bait, putting their lives in danger. Jeff defends his actions, stating that cooperation could have led to great wealth since the snake is immensely valuable. Bang's eyes light up at the mention of riches, while Lon vehemently curses Jeff. In the midst of the exchange of accusations, Bang insists they must escape the situation. Jeff offers his boat as a means to reach the port in two days, but Lon refuses to trust him, accusing him of the captain's death. Jeff denies the accusation, leaving the group to decide whom to believe. Bang aligns with Jeff, while Away remains by Lan's side. Suddenly, Away is stung by a toxic bee, and Jeff reveals that she needs antibiotics within 48 hours to survive. With no other options, the group reluctantly agrees to follow Jeff, who claims to have antibiotics on his boat. The group makes a stop at a stream where Ali is about to drink water when Jeff intervenes, revealing numerous dead praying mantises in the water. He warns them about an infectious parasite that induces intense thirst, often leading victims to drown while seeking relief. Spotting a hole at the base of a nearby tree, Jeff uses his hand as bait to catch a python for food. While the group prepares to cook the python, Jeff opts to eat it raw, citing the risk of attracting predators with the smell of cooked food, instructing them to hasten their meal. Unable to speak, Dodu gestures to Lon, encouraging her to eat, but she refuses. Bang offers Jeff a cooked piece of python, but receives a raw piece in return. Jeff notices birds fleeing the area, signaling the approach of the red anaconda. As it attacks and grabs away, Lon and Dodo hold onto him allowing Jeff to drive the anaconda away by spearing it with an improvised lance, causing it to retreat. A strange parasite infiltrates the cousin's neck, leading the group to seek refuge in a nearby cave for the night, as snake repellent is present there. 
Lan and Ali have a frank conversation about their respective lives. In a flashback, Jeff recounts his initial encounter with the Red Anaconda, surviving by hiding in a coffin thrown into the river during the attack. Jeff enlightens Bang about the exorbitant value of reticulated pythons and the unique nature of the mutant Red Anaconda, boasting red markings that make it unique. Jeff proposes that capturing it could ensure them enough wealth for a lifetime. Bang eagerly agrees and reveals his intention to sell out the group. Later that night, Jang awakens from a nightmare only to discover that the cousin is missing. Lured by the parasite, the cousin ventures towards the water and falls victim to the red anaconda. The next day, the group needs to cross a flooded path with the red anaconda lurking nearby. Suddenly the serpent emerges from the water and attacks Jang, and despite Lan's valiant attempt to rescue him, she fails, and the snake kills the man. The group reaches the boat, where Jeff arms himself and provides Lan with a bag of medicine. Longing to return home, Jeff begs them to help capture the red anaconda. When they refuse, he and Bang resort to threats, explaining that the anaconda is vulnerable only when feeding. Jeff decides to tie up Dodu and away as bait to lure the anaconda for capture. While away pleads for release, Bang coldly reveals his intention to sell their organs, regardless of how they die. Nearby, Ali and Lan are tied up, however, Ali successfully convinces Jeff to release her. He frees her, but she manipulates him into a vulnerable position, and grabs the gun, only to find it jammed. Jeff retrieves the gun and prepares to retaliate, but Lan, freeing herself, intervenes, stabbing him in the back. As they struggle, the red anaconda approaches. Approaching Dodu, Bang prepares to ensnare it in the net, only to be attacked by another anaconda, inadvertently ensnaring Dodu and away in the process, sparing them from harm. Although initially gaining the upper hand, Jeff's dominance weakens when Lan strikes him with a log, causing him to faint. As the girls rush to free Dodu and away, Jeff is grabbed and dragged by an anaconda. In the chaos, Ali is shot and succumbs to the wound, soon perishing in the arms of his friends. Lan, away, and Dodu take refuge on the boat but postpone departure. Suddenly, Dodu is struck by a tranquilizer dart, falling unconscious, and Lan realizes that Jeff is responsible. In a flashback, Jeff is revealed to have murdered the red anaconda by decapitating it, and now he sets a trap for the remaining one, using the survivors as bait. As Jeff prepares to capture the snake, a crowd of giant pythons encircles the three bound survivors. As one of the serpents prepares to attack the group, the red anaconda suddenly appears and attacks its relative, causing the rest of them to disperse. Seizing the opportunity, Jeff pulls the net, but the red anaconda breaks free and ensnares Jeff in a tree. During the struggle, though he manages to break free momentarily, he is captured and devoured by the red anaconda. Away chews through his bonds, thus freeing the others. As the snake searches for them, Away takes refuge in nearby crates, but the red anaconda discovers him. As it is about to attack, Dodo pulls Away out, however, the red anaconda grabs his foot, but Lan quickly wounds the snake with a wooden stake. The anaconda regurgitates Jeff, and Lan distracts its attention, leading it away. She hides in a coffin suspended from a tree, but the red anaconda finds her. It coils around the coffin and crushes it, but fortunately Lan escapes through the bottom opening. As the group flees, a small snake attacks the giant red anaconda, but is subsequently devoured, granting precious moments for the group. Dodu wields a large piece of wood and thrusts it into the anaconda's mouth, while Lan stabs it in the eye in a desperate attempt to evade the relentless pursuit. The group reaches a wire trap set up by Jeff, when the red anaconda emerges from the ground, its head is severed by the suspended wire. The group boards the boat and escapes, but the final scene reveals the headless body of the red anaconda rising again, as the survivors reach safety in a populated area.